First question is from Kirsten Watson. Go ahead. What are the conversations right now in the clubhouse, especially as you are looking to turn things around? Las conversaciones que están con ustedes, los jugadores, ahorita cuando están queriendo cambiar lo que está pasando. Sí, yo pienso que, yeah, I think every day we, they're doing something, we, we, we are doing something different to, to have the team win, but we just got to keep doing, keep, keep playing hard and, and trust that everything will be good. And what's the focus for you this season? My focus is on getting better on everything. I've been feeling good hitting with my right hand swing, left hand swing, catching, feel, feel really good too, receiving, throwing, just keeping it up. Thank you. Next question. Siguiente pregunta de Claudia Gestro. Adelante. Okay, ver, mucho gusto de verte de nuevo por aquí. Uh, hablando un poquito del de partido en Chicago que conectaste un cuadrangular en el primer lanzamiento que viste esta temporada y fue contra Kyle Hendricks, evitando que los Dodgers sean blanqueados. ¿Cómo fue ese momento para ti? Sí, sí, estaba esperando desde hace días ya esa oportunidad y gracias a Dios se, se dio la oportunidad y mira, estaba bien concentrado para ese turno y gracias a Dios salieron las cosas bien. Ahora, después de sufrir estas lesiones y perder partidos, ¿cómo se mantienen enfocados y con muchos ánimos? Es decir, muchas lesiones, picheo, eh, outfield, la noche, y polo. Pero, como tú dices, tratando de mantener el enfoque y hasta, bueno, yo mismo tratar de, si puedo jugar otra posición, la jugaré para, para tratar de ayudar al equipo. Última pregunta es, vemos que los bates están haciendo contacto con la pelota. ¿Sientes que eso es cuestión de tiempo, que ese contacto genere más hits y carreras? Sí, mira, así es mejor, no todo el tiempo van a salir las cosas como uno desee, pero lo que hay que mantener el enfoque y, y tratar de hacerlo ajuste para que todo salga bien. Muchas gracias. Next question is from Dave Vasega. Uh, Caber, with the Dodgers having uh, Smith and Barnes as their catchers, have you thought about or has the organization discussed with you maybe trying to be more versatile and play another position to try to get your bat in the lineup? Yeah, that, that's what I, that's my thought right now. Like, if I have to play outfielder, I played outfield when I was 14 years old. I signed with, in, with my winner ball team over there. So why not? I can play anywhere to, to have the team. Have you started taking any fly balls again or How about first base? Has that been something that has been discussed? No, but I, I would do it. I would do it, yeah. Obviously, I would try to to do my best. Talk to the coach if, what, what, what they think, if I can play another position. Kbert, as far as your confidence, uh, there's always a moment for a player when they know that they're good enough to play in the major leagues. Was that moment last year when you hit your home run in your first at bat? Was that in spring training where you showed up late and you you were so good this past spring, or was it in Chicago again when you showed up and your first at bat you hit a home run? When did you, or when do you get that confidence to know, hey, I'm good enough to be with these guys on this field? Uh, yeah, you say my confidence is, I. I feel better with my confidence this year and I just want to keep it you know we know we're gonna I want to fail I don't want to go 10 for 10 I don't want to hit a base seal all the time but I will try to do my best and I know I, I can do it and like I said I want to keep working hard and try to do my best thank you Kbert thank you next question is from Mike DiGiovanna go ahead Hey, Kbert, uh, you know, you reached, you touched AAA a couple of years ago and haven't quite uh, established that foothold in the big leagues. Um, are you, even though, you know, you're one of the top prospects here, are you getting a little impatient? Sí, um, llegaste a AAA hace dos años y, y el último año estabas en AAA. Uh, 12 años antes pasados en AAA, te está no cayendo la confianza, pero te está poquito, poquito impaciente con lo que está pasando, que no estás jugando, jugando mucho en las grandes ligas, sí. Yeah, boys, I can't control that. I just gotta keep working hard, being ready for whatever. Uh, 
I know the opportunity is going to be there. And just when it comes, I got to do my job. Do you think it's more a matter of opportunity or is there maybe one part of your game that will take you to that next level? I think both, but I've been feeling good catching. I mean, uh, we call in the games. I don't have the opportunity to, to show them, but I've been feeling really good. I feel like I can catch here too. Thank you. Next question is from JP Hornstra. Go ahead, JP. Okay, Bert, you mentioned confidence earlier, and I know last season in your first at bat, you hit a home run. This season, your first at bat, you hit a home run. What did that do for your confidence? Yeah, it has me for sure, but I just got to keep keep doing it, you know, keep working hard, keep getting better, and so I show the people I can hit. Yeah. I know that when you're on the taxi squad, you're not really able to see live pitching. So what did you do to keep your timing so good? Uh, just trying to be mentally ready, hitting the cage, hitting my team, flips, just try to keep my mind like uh, it's in the game when I'm hitting. And going into this season, did you expect that you would be on the taxi squad on road trips, or did you think you would be getting live pitching at the alternate site? Si pensabas que ibas a estar en el taxi squad todo el tiempo, y o pensabas que ibas a estar en Arizona agarrando pitches contra lanzadores en vivo. Yeah, I was in Arizona getting the pass. No, que si pensabas que ibas a estar con nosotros todo el tiempo con el equipo grande, como o pensabas que ibas a estar Cuando no estabas con el equi- en el roster activo, ¿tú pensabas que te iban a utilizar en el taxi squad mm-hmm. o pensabas que te iban a utilizar allá en Arizona bateando contra picheos en vivo o picheras en vivo? Yo, yo pienso que me iban a o sea, tener en Arizona y si me necesitaban aquí en el taxi squad, me iban a tener. Yeah, I think they were going to use me both ways. If they needed me or utilize me on the taxi squad, they were going to have me here. But if they needed me to get live at bats in Arizona, I was going to be there. Okay, thank you. Next question is from Rowan Kavner. Go ahead. Hey, Kaver. Um, how hard was it not to get a, a minor league season last year? And, and how much do you feel like you were able to still, you know, grow on your development at the alternate site? Uh, yeah, I played Winnable last year. I think that has me, like, keeping my body playing and my mind be focused on, on the game. But, yeah, I just – Try to do my best uh, whenever I, uh, I am, whatever I am, and try to keep getting better every day. Okay, thank you. Next question is for Eric. Steven, go ahead, Eric. Hi, Kbert. Uh, just wondering, um, Dave Roberts mentioned he liked having you around uh, when you were on the taxi squad, even though when you weren't active and you know, it helps your development. I'm just wondering, what were you able to get out of that situation, you know, just sitting in meetings and, and things like that, even when you weren't active? Dijo que Dave, te, que Dave dijo que él te gustaba estar aquí con nosotros porque podías aprender de los otros catchers, sabiendo cómo están, están pichando, cómo están haciendo para estar en las juntas. ¿Cómo tú piensas que te ha ayudado estar yeah, aquí con I've nosotros? I've been talking to Austin Barnes about game planning and asking some pitchers question what do they like to throw, how they like to pitch. And I think he has me for Mars he called a really good game. And having the opportunity to to talk to him and it's really good. Ultima pregunta de Eric Aguirre, adelante. Buenas tardes, Keiber. El día de ayer estuviste recibiendo los lanzamientos de Edwin Uceta. ¿Cómo fue su, su comunicación y cómo te sentiste en la receptoría? Eh, mira, la comunicación bien. Me sentí bien. Este, lo, lo, ya lo conozco a él desde hace años ya y ob, obviamente eso lo hizo más fácil. Este, y él estaba comandando su pichón bien, el cambio estaba bueno, la curva y gracias a Dios salieron las cosas bien. Gracias, Keiber.